Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you about some cool tricks on Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom on the web. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Remedy. I am a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France. But right now, I'm in Orlando, Florida at Photoshop World 2017. If you have never been to Photoshop World, it's amazing. I'm here as an instructor for the second time, sharing passion with you know, 1,500 people which are all passionate about photography is amazing. You learn so much, you meet so much cool people, it's great. All right, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the little bell so you can get a notification when I do a free tutorial, which is once or twice a week. Guys, I have a huge favor to ask you before I show you the tutorial. If you get a chance, please check out The Hollywoodans. It's a movie that I star in. It's a comedy about Hollywood and reaching your dream, uh, you know, your passion in life. And we're trying to get some attention from the movie industry. And for that, we need a lot, a lot of pre-orders and reviews. You have all the details in the link below this video. If you can take some time to pre-order the movie and leave a review, that would be so awesome. If you ever wanted to help me, this is the time. Thank you so much for this. And now let me show you what I learned this morning at Photoshop World, some really cool tricks on Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom on the web. All right, guys, so what I'm about to show you only works if you're a Creative Cloud member. And if you're not, uh, if you go to photosearch.com, my gear, you can come here and you will see there's a big ad for Creative Cloud by Adobe. All I'm going to show you works if you have Lightroom and Photoshop. And they have this amazing package that can go down all the way to $7.99 if you just use this as uh, you know, this link to book instead of going directly to Adobe, you'll get 20% off. So it's $7.99 instead of $9.99. By being a Creative Cloud member, you not only get Photoshop and Lightroom and all the updates, but you're going to get some really cool features like all the apps, Lightroom Mobile, which I'm, I want to show you a few things and all kind of goodies. So first, let me show you a few things from Lightroom Mobile. All right, so I've done a few tutorials about Lightroom Mobile and if you've not seen them, I will put the link below this video. But here I am in Lightroom Mobile and one option that's been pretty recent, which is really amazing, is the camera um, and the fact that you can shoot in HDR. Let me show you this. If you click here on camera, you will see me. I'm here. This is my hotel room. And uh, you have different options. You see you have, basically, if you click here, you've got the automatic, which I never use because you might as well use the uh, camera that's with it if you wanted to go that route or you have the professional. Now the professional is much better because you can set the ISO. And that's the most important thing. See, the ISO with an iPhone goes starts at 25. I always try to be around 25, you see, so I can move this little circle and just put it at 25. And then I play around with my speed uh, to get something, now you want speed, of course, you want something that you can, you know, hold by. So I'm going to go to, you cannot go all, I mean, you can go all the way to one third of a second, but it's really going to be blurry unless you have a tripod. So I usually go like around like 140. Now on this one, for example, this is way too dark because I'm really inside of hotel. So I could go, you know, I could go on the ISO and I could go to like ISO, uh, what am I now? Um, 32, 40, maybe, you know. 64. The name of the game is you want to have the lowest ISO possible because I find that when you heavily retouch a photo and your ISO is not good, you don't get a re good result. So the first reason why I'm shooting with Lightroom Mobile is to be able to choose my ISO. But the other thing is if you click here, you see it says DNG, you have the choice between JPEG and DNG and you want to put it on DNG because it's a raw format and the quality is so much better. It's unbelievable. Let me show you, let me show you an example. So I'm going to go back I'm going to go out of the camera and uh, I'm going to go into a collection that I created called iPhone 7. And this is some of the, all these photos were taken in with an iPhone and retouched with Lightroom Mobile, all of them. And uh, so I, I'm amazed by the quality, but I'm only shooting DNGs. I'm only shooting RAW files, nothing else. Let me show you a photo. Let me show you this one, for example, uh, that I did. So it's really like, you know, using Lightroom. I can go here into the lights and, you know, I can open up the shadows. I can bring down the highlights. I can do my white point. I can do my black point. In this case, I'm, I want to do a black and white. So I'm going to add a lot of contrast and exposure. 
Okay, I'm going to go to colors and in colors I'm going to um, I'm going to go black and white. Okay, I'm going to go to colors, I'm going to go to black and white and um, I can click here on the mixed tool and the mix is like the same one that you you know you have where you have the targeted tool. I can click here, click on the uh, for example on the sky and uh, and make it's going to detect it's going to make my blue darker for example uh but back on the gray mix i want uh, i want the gray mix so i'm um, basically where i can take the blue and my, make my blue darker or brighter because uh, i'm trying to get the sky you know look look at this i i picked blue and i make it darker or brighter okay i want it a bit darker and um so i want to get rid of this information that's here it's kind of annoying for the retouching so i'm going to go show hide info Okay, so I can concentrate. So now I, I did my, you know, main conversion. Now I'm going to do my magic using local tools. And we have the local tools here. I'm going to start with a gradient filter, for example. Uh, sorry, a linear gradient. So you make the gradient with your finger and then you take the, uh, for example, exposure. I'm going to lower the exposure here. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to click here and make another one at the bottom to close the photo. Then I'm going to go on the you know, on the circle here, I'm going to make one circle. Uh, I'm going to boost the exposure. I don't want to bring some lights here. Uh, voila. Maybe you make another one. So you just click on it. You have a plus. When you have the plus, you drag and drop it. I just want to, you know, dodge and burn. And if you move, uh, you see, once you have the circle, if you click here on the top round, you can make your selection very uh definite or very smooth of course you want very smooth so i'm going to add another exposure there and uh, voila um, voila so once i'm happy with that it's there and the good thing is all the collections you're taking so now i do more and more this is like photos that i do like right on the spot i retouch them and then i save it to my camera roll with here save to camera roll and i share it on social media and i do it like right away when i do a shoot and i try to you know accumulate like a series of you know high quality iPhone photos, uh, which I find is really cool. Now, I also have all my best collections always with me. You know, if someone asks me what do you do in life, you know, I can show him my photos, and I always use Lightroom Mobile because I know it's always up to date. For example, right now I'm finishing my book on Venice, and so I have created a collection called To Submit, and it's got all my photos for my new upcoming Venice book. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple of years. It's coming to an end. I'm really happy I can show it to anyone. Now, let's say that I wanted to share this with somebody. I can totally do that. I can click here and I can click on share. And there is, um, so you I'm going to click here, uh, small, for example. So I'm going to share the photos. And, um, and that's going to be sharing just one photo which I don't want to do. I actually want to share the entire collection. So I'm going to click here, sorry. And I'm going to say share collection. And I can click view on the web or share link. If I click on share link, uh, I have a link that I can send by text or by email. All right, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the web. So that's the link that I sent to myself. And you see, uh, this is the gallery. I can send this link to my publisher saying, oh, here is my book or to any friend or anything. Uh, they can even do a slideshow with the photo. Uh, you know, which is kind of cool. So before to be able to create a web page, I had to go in Lightroom and I had to create, you know, a little web design, choose a template. Now I can just send that link directly from my phone, uh, which I think is really cool. And, uh, but that's not all. There's one other feature which I find is really amazing and it's actually been around since a couple of years, but I only found out about it recently, is that you see this address, lightroom.adobe.com. If you go on this address and you log in, uh, you have access to all your collections which are in the Creative Clouds. And I have a lot of collections there. And so now let's say that, uh, you know, I used to be an interior design photographer, so I, I used to present my photos to my customer all the time. And, you know, sometimes they would say, oh, this photo is too dark, this photo is too bright. You know, I could speak with my publisher and I could show him the photo and... Uh, and, you know, instead of just taking notes, for example, you could say, oh, I find that uh, this uh, photo lacks of contrast, for example. Well, I'm on the web. I'm on his computer. Okay. I can give, give it a star system. 
but I can click here on edit this photo and I can edit the photo on his computer right in front of his eyes so you cannot do all the editing that you want but it can be really cool you know, I can I can adjust the photo. I can say, okay, it's basically the same settings that you have in Lightroom Mobile. So you know, I said, oh, it's I can make it brighter. I can add some contrast. You know, whatever I want to do, and it's going to update everywhere in my Lightroom, and it's going to update my book everywhere. And I think the ability to be able to show a collection to a client and retouch it on his computer, you know, might be a bit hard because honestly, one of the biggest issue, and I'm sure you guys had that, uh, one of the biggest issue that I've had with you know showing my photos uh, to a customer is they often have Windows computers and unfortunately a lot of Windows computers have very 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 you know fancy ways of interpreting colors so I had uh, the biggest issue I've had is that you know they, they look weird on their computer so what I usually do now is I, I go with an iPad but same thing you could use Lightroom Mobile to show it and correct right there and it's going to synchronize the correction with your main desktop so you're not wasting any time and um, so this is uh, the main features that I wanted to show you I think the Creative Clouds really took Lightroom to a whole new level to be able to do all this sharing and you know showing a collection to a customer be able to retouch it on his computer uh, being able to shoot you know HDR raw files with your iPhone and synchronize back with your computer uh, I think this is really uh, amazing because all the photos you take on your iPhone also gets resynchronized with the Lightroom library so you see that's the collections you have when you are in Lightroom and it says from Lightroom Mobile and you have all the collections there. So I'm here, you know, on my Lightroom on the web, and I want to show you something because I don't have the connection to my big hard drive because I'm traveling, but I want to show you something that's really cool that I never realized is that Adobe came up with something they call Adobe Sensei. Sensei! And the whole idea of Adobe Sensei is that uh, you can find your photos without using keywords. I have this... Um, discipline that I try to put a keyword every time I import a photo into Lightroom but very often I forget and in fact they are using you know since they have bought Photolia and that became Adobe stock uh, they have this technology where they can find a photo with words so that means for example if I want to find a photo that has uh, a sunset and I did not put a sunset tag on it I can still go here on Lightroom on my Lightroom mobile in the search field here uh, in Lightroom, you can just go here to all my photos, 165,000 photos, Command F. But I'm, I'll, I'll show you more on the Lightroom mobile here, uh, on the version mobile, because it's connected and have more photos. But basically, you can go there and you can type, for example, sunset. And whether or not you did put a you know a keyword, it will find your sunset. Now, this is so cool. You know, I can put something like, you know, red, like a color. Um, I can put, you know, so it keeps, so now the sunset which are red comes out, the, my flower shot comes out. I can put, you know, I don't know, like a blue hour. I mean, it's really cool. When you have 165,000 photos, to be able to find photos without keywording is amazing. So thank you, Sensei from Adobe. All right, one more thing, and one uh, really cool thing is uh, my new course on Photoshop is out. Photoshop. Uh, for photography 2017 now this is not just an update of my lightroom course it is not an update it's a complete new uh completely new way of teaching lightroom i did much more videos every video is between three to eight minutes uh a lot more projects it's you know it's made in a way so you can use it as a bit of a, a reference if you need to know anything about photoshop that is regarding to photography you should be able to find it in one of my video um, at the end of this video, you'll f uh, see a link with a full presentation. It's my best course ever. I've been working on it for over a year. I've been traveling all around the world to have the best photos possible. Check it out. My best course ever. Here is the link.